All right, guys, we are back changing the uh, short iron back blade, um, changing the cutting edge on it. Uh, went through a season, one full season here in West Central Illinois, um, and two one or two inch events uh, where I was, you know, scraping my Walmart and other places down to, you know, bare pavement a couple inches of snow we had before I put salt down. Um, I'm impressed with the longevity of the cutting edge, mainly because the front cutting edge on my, my wide out, it'll probably last six years now that I'm using this because the only thing I use that wide out for, it seems, is for stacking. Um, but you can see, you can find the tape measure here and I'll get some measurements, if I can find one in this darn garage. But you can see the uh, difference in cutting edges. I don't remember what they cost. Uh, I know shipping on them is uh, pretty expensive. Um, let me find a tape measure. I'll get you some, here we go. So, stock we're just a we're at five and three quarter inches and after a year and two plows use I'm down to three inches and I probably could have gone one more event um, but we're supposed to get snow tonight and Tuesday um, and then again possibly on Wednesday and I don't want to have to be in a rush between so it's not worth it to me for that one event um but the way my plow i have it angled um as you can see it's angled up but when i put down force on it um, can't do that i have a jack stand under it um when i put down pressure on it it takes the tip down and so my tip you know, I've got eh, roughly just a touch under half an inch, but I didn't want to get into this corner here. Um, and it makes these little junk trials there come off. Um, but I never got into the mold board, as you would call it, um, into the frame of the plow. And that's what's important to me is to not damage this because it is an awesome tool um but yeah so i'm going to i wasn't going i was going to use the same bolts uh but i know that if i do next year when i go to change them they're going to be really rusty and i had a couple of them that my milwaukee just about didn't want to take off because of the rust so um i'm going to go ahead and pick up some new bolts and uh get back and I'll get these installed and we'll touch back. Okay, so for this uh, project, you're gonna need 15 uh, half inch uh, by two and roughly just about two and a half. Yeah, two and a half, two and three eighths, somewhere in there. Um, high grade bolts, 15 of those. 15 washers, 15 nuts, a pretty much any drill bit, half inch, uh, doesn't have to be special, you're just drilling through the uh, poly cutting edge. And you're gonna definitely want three of these bad boys clamps. And uh, I'll get it clamped on there and we'll get some drills hold. Yeah, throw this in here too. Before you uh, mount up your mold board, your uh, cutting edge, some fluid film, be a good rust inhibitor in that area. Give that a good shot because you're not going to be able to get it in there as good once the cutting edge is on. Okay, update what I've done. These clamps, these three inch clamps that I have, are quite big enough to cut the mustard. So I did get one on on this side. Um, and you'll want just a touch, I mean, a sixteenth of an inch um, where the um, the cutting edges in um, and you want it flush with this so it's straight up and down before you do any hole drilling and you want the cutting edge touching this pin 
here. So um, I got one clamp on one side. I'm going to go ahead and drill the other side and then uh, probably do one in the middle and then do one out here and then do the rest of them. So I'll get back after the holes are drilled and the bolts are in. Okay, so I'm back. I got this finished up. Everything looks good. Um, on these side wings, you'll notice when you put them on, don't slap the cutting edge up against this bar brace um, when you mount it, because uh, it'll be too high. Uh, that gets uh, mounted down probably about an inch from there. Um, yeah, so no real uh, torque specs, I would say, on the cutting edge. Um, I've got a Milwaukee fuel, uh, M18 and I just put some good ugga duggas on it and uh, called it good. No lock washers or anything. Uh, it fairly, I mean, it was an easy install. It's, you know, not quite as easy as a metal blade with pre cut holes and whatnot, but uh, it went pretty well. Uh, when I was under there, I did discover that my mount on the truck side. Um, a, it's a little bit rusty, but that's not the manufacturer's fault. Um, the, as I was lifting it up and down, I noticed that the, uh, the two plates here that meet were shifting a little bit. Um, and uh, I need to, I'm, re, I'm getting ready to uh, buy some more bolts because there's actually more holes. Um, there was only four bolts on each side, so eight total. Uh, there's more holes. I'm going to go ahead and add more, and then I'm going to replace all of the ones that were in there in case they're stretched a little bit. I tried tightening them, but I really couldn't get any more grip on them. Um, so I'm going to replace uh, all the bolts that I can and uh, get those torqued down real good, and I'll probably retorque them um, after I do this event. But that will wrap it up for the short iron. Uh, this is an 816. Uh, back blade change, the cutting edge change. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment in the box below and I'll answer it as soon as I can. But uh, for now, you guys have a good day.